The men of the 1st Battalion Royal Anglians prepare to return to Helmand if they're called on this autumn. Today they're having ear protection fitted to defend their hearing from the roar of gunfire and the explosions on the battlefield. Stage a few weeks ago, I forgot and I didn't notice any difference. But I had the flu Corporal Stuart Parker won't be going back though. He was left deaf in one ear, amongst other injuries, when he survived a 500 pound bomb dropped on his unit in error by an American jet sent to help them in 2007. A lot of pain, basically. I, I felt like the insides of me were on fire. I didn't know at the time, but I was actually bleeding to death, um, which is obviously never a good situation to be in. A lot of chaos, confusion, uh, mess around me, a lot of shouting going on. You know, the, in, in all reality, you know, the confusion of the situation, you don't really know what's going on. You, just, you, don't, you don't really know how injured you are either. The blast killed three of his comrades. All nine Royal Anglians who made the ultimate sacrifice in Helmand are remembered on this memorial. Its stones and shell casings brought back from the front line. Ian Robinson was Regimental Sergeant Major on the tour, looking after his soldiers' welfare, including the injured. You know, if they have been too badly injured and they could speak on the phone, we'd always try and get them to ring home quite early. Um, because if, if they can't do it, someone has to go and get, give that terrible knock on the door. Um, so we tried to do things like that. Um, and then as soon as we've been to visit them and we know they're, they're okay, we get as many blokes as we possibly could into the hospital with as many goodie bags and magazines and, and whatever else we could find. Sergeant Andrew Brown emerged unscathed and he's keen to go back to take on the Taliban again. They want to stand and fight you. Um, definitely want to stand and fight you. And, and they're, they're as game as we are, you know, and I think there's more of them waiting to come over and, and have a go as well. So I think we all take our heart to them and to a certain degree. Obviously they are our enemies, so, but we do respect them. Now their former commanding officer has written a book bringing together the men's experiences in Helmand. So does he believe this war can be won? I think we do need more effort, more resources in there, but with those resources, with huge amount more effort from NATO as a whole, particularly from the US and the UK, I think we can, um, we can get within two to three years, which is about all we've got really, we can get to the stage where um, we can make a real change to the, to the stage of the insurgency. It's not yet clear how many of these men may be sent to Afghanistan, but they say that they're ready for whatever challenges may lie ahead this time in Helmand province. Caroline Wyatt, BBC News, at Purblight Barracks in Surrey.